Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Tiger. And uh, up here today with the next part of the PlayStation 2 collection. Uh, I've only got one more part after this and then I think we're done. I'll try and get the next part done all in one and then and then we're done. Um, I might do like an end game video where I talk about uh, the PS2 in general, why I enjoy collecting for it, some of the ups and downs and stuff like that and sort of wrap it all up kind of thing. Um, but without further ado, let's get straight into it. I'm sorry if there's some games that I've already shown before. I tried to take the ones that I've already shown before out. Um, like I said, I've still got to sort all my, my games out. You know, it's still a bit of a, a mess up there. I'm, I'm going to try and sort them out uh, sooner rather than later. I just wanted to get these videos done so I didn't move them all and lose track of which ones I've done and which ones I haven't done. Uh, once I've done it all, I'm going to sort my out into genre, and I might do a video on that and talk about how, how they're all sorted out and stuff, but anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into the PlayStation 2 collection. First up, we have Naval Ships Warship Gunner. It's actually a Koei game, um, a uh, naval strategy command uh, game. There's quite a few uh, warship games out there. They're not really my thing, but if you like those things, then more more power to you. Then we have Shrek 2. Um, I, I, this was a game from my childhood. I used to love playing this. Uh, sort of like a drop-in, drop-out game, like a, a beat-em-up style game. Really fun game, actually. It, it, it holds up mm, somewhat okay. Um, still a fun game to go back to with Activision at their finest back in the day. And we have NBA Ballers, and it includes a free music CD as well, which is pretty cool. Um, probably some hip-hop and stuff on there. Um, another NBA game. Uh, so, it looks like it's got a pretty interesting uh, campaign mode on there. Lots of basketball games that will all be together. Then we have Richard Burns Rally. Another rally game with the Richard Burns. Instead of Colin McRae, we have Richard Burns. Zone of the Enders, the second runner. Uh, same, made by the same people who worked on um, Hideo Kojima, of course, um, made Metal Gear Solid. It's kind of like an anime-esque mixed with like a, a mech fighting action game. It's kind of an interesting game. I played a little bit of the first one. Um, really interesting game. It's not like any other mech game, which is kind of simulate, and this is kind of a mix between simulation story driven and um uh, a bit of arcade combat in there kind of a fun game and there is a hd remastered on the xbox 360 and ps3 and also and there's a vr version as well and we have ufc sudden impact ufc game not many ufc games on the ps2 these days but world rally championship extreme 2 <laughs> never RSC, um, R W R C racing game there. World Rally Championships 3, the <laughs> official game of the FIA World Rally Championship. Another <laughs> rally game there. Plenty of these out there for you, fans. WWE Crush Hour. This is where WWE sort of experimented. And this is kind of like a Monster Jam, Twisted Metal meets WWE. It's actually a pretty fun game, actually. It's kind of an interesting one. It's a shame, you know, WWE don't take chances anymore, don't make, um, like, original games anymore. They just make the uh, the, uh, the the month, the yearly wrestling game. And, you know, 2K20 was a, a bit of a disappointment. I haven't played it myself, but I've heard bad things about it. World Championship Snooker 2002. Wallace and Gromit, Curse of the Were Rabbit. Um, this game was meant is meant to have two players, but I have no clue how to unlock the two player mode. Um, if you know how to do the two player mode in this, let me know. I, I don't know how you do it. Terminator: Dawn of Fate. This is kind of like a uh, a Resident Evil style Terminator game. Kind of an interesting one, using that uh, Resident Evil style to it. The thing based on the uh, movie, and I hear this game is actually kind of a pretty fun survival horror game with multiple characters, it has a pretty cool like um, a temperature system, if you're out in the cold too long you'll, you'll die and stuff and you have to keep warm and stuff, kind of a cool concept. 
Total Overdose. Um, this game's kind of like a more over-the-top version of, say, uh, like a GTA kind of game, open world, but it's very arcadey, over-the-top. Um, it's a pretty fun game for its time, actually. Um, and the uh, the unofficial sequel, Chili Con Carne, on PSP. I used to love playing that game on PSP, doing the uh, little arcade mode with my brothers and trying to get the highest score. World War Zero. Another original uh, first-person shooter. I think I might have played this on PC. Q Academy. Snooker, pool and billiards. Different pool tables on there. Scar. Squad Recorsa Alpha Romeo. A uh, Alpha Romeo um, simulator game with RPG elements. Um, I believe this is kind of like a spiritual prequel to the um, Assetto, Cors Assetto Corsaia, whatever game was on the uh, Xbox One. <laughs> Twisted Metal Black. Twisted Metal was a, a classic back in the day. Some people say that it actually don't hold up very well. Uh, I can understand where they're coming from with that, but Twisted Metal is a, a classic uh, um a uh, classic uh, vehicle combat game and uh, there is also an online version of this as well out there which I do want to get for collection purposes. Twin Calibur. Kind of like that Army Men Green Road game I played. This is like a on rails uh, twin stick shooter almost. Um, actually a pretty fun little game. Nothing special though but it's a pretty cool little arcade experience. Underworld, The Eternal War. You know, I've never actually watched the movies, um, but this game is awesome. It's like a twin stick top-down shooter. It is a budget title, but I used to play this to death with my brothers. Really, really fun game. Definitely check this one out. It's definitely a, a really fun game. Vampire Knight, another Namco-branded um, on-rails uh, light gun shooter. Of course, you can play all of these games without a light gun, but the appeal uh, was the light gun, of course. X-Men Legends, kind of a precursor to the Ultimate Alliance games. Um, if you've ever played Marvel Ultimate Alliance, the X-Men Legends games are essentially uh, the same thing. You know, top-down beat-em-ups with RPG elements. Um, really, really fun series and it's kind of sad that you know they sort of went away from this with the x-men series and they you know x-men just sort of uh died off really with its video games there weren't really too many good x-men games um after this uh but this is the pinnacle of the x-men series Extreme G Racing, I believe this is a, a prequel, a sequel to the um, a Dream uh, Nintendo 64 game, like a futuristic bike racing game. I have an exploder light here. This is kind of like a um, like a cheat code thing. You put it in, you get cheat codes. Um, it, it is a you would get these, and it's kind of like a uh, the game genie or something. Uh, really cool way of getting like all these cheats for these games um, of course nowadays we can go online and look but back in the day you had to buy these things or you got these with magazines and they were really helpful let me have true crime in new york city I used to love this game as a kid it's like a open world game um and uh, you're a cop or an undercover cop it's a really fun game lots of things to do in it um it holds up pretty well uh, the original uh, Streets of LA doesn't hold up as well, but it's still a, a fun game. Definitely check this one out. It's really cool. Torino 2006, a Winter Olympics. Bobsleigh and stuff on there. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon 2. Of course, uh, Ghost Recon is a, uh, a modern-day classic and, of course, still going strong to this day. Uh, some people are still asking for an original Ghost Recon. Ghost Recon Jungle Storm. Of course, the epiphany of tactical shooters on the PlayStation 2 and Xbox and things. Tiger Woods 2004. World Tour, made by Crave Entertainment. Uh, it's kind of like a uh, scooter... 
uh, game, kind of like Jet Grind Radio or, you know, Tony Hawk. The original Ghost Recon, where it all began on the PlayStation 2. And we have Worms Under, Fort, Under Siege. Uh, it's kind of sad that Worms kind of started experimenting with 3D. And uh, some people like the 3D Worms. I particularly don't. I, I prefer the 2D Worms. Um, the Worms games were really fun, like turn-based um, strategy games. And, uh, of course, uh, very wacky and over-the-top Um and uh, yeah, it's a shame that they sort of went off on a weird tangent for a while, but then they got back on track uh, with the newer Worms games. And uh, yeah, Worms is a, a classic back in the day. Sega Worms 3D again, uh, much like Under uh, Thoughts, it's a, a 3D one. It, it works okay, but Worms was more meant to be a, 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 a 2D game. You know, when they experiment with 2D games and make 2d games into 3d game sometimes the transition works sometimes it don't um it worked for games like hogs of war um but unfortunately worms was a little bit more slow so it doesn't work as well guilty gear x plenty of guilty gear games out there on playstation 2 of course anime fighting games like 2d fighters very um good series very beloved series Swords of Destiny. It's kind of like a Devil May Cry clone. Um, I played a little bit of this game and it's pretty cool. Um, the way you like upgrade your weapon is every time you kill people, you like absorb their weapons into your weapon and um, your weapon gets stronger and stuff. It's a kind of an interesting game. I have to go back and play more of that. Circus Maximus. Chariot Wars. Uh, a chariot themed racing game here. Or based around like the Roman Empire. MX World Tour. Again, so many MX games. Where do you which ones are best? Which ones are the worst? You tell me. Silent Scope, another Konami arcade classic. Sniper game. Again. Stitch Experiment 626. Kind of like a, a platformer game, uh, like like a Crash Bandicoot style game, but yeah. Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Gauntlet is a classic arcade game, and then they sort of experimented uh, with the newer Gauntlet games into a 3D environment, and that actually works pretty well. It's not terrible. Then we have my all-time favorite game of all time. Time Splitters 3, Future Perfect. Um, what can be said about this game other than, well, Perfect is a, a great analogy. Um, this game, you know, had everything that Time Splitters 2 had and more. Um, the campaign was, was much more uh, defined. Um, the second game had a good campaign, but it was very, uh, I wouldn't say bland. It was more kind of like there's a tiny little story and then you go straight into your mission this game had more of a story to it in the fact that you played as cortez the whole game obviously rather than splitting between characters for each level um this game is is fantastic it had the single player campaign a co-op campaign the arcade modes the multiplayer modes the online uh, hundreds of characters to unlock loads of challenges um, a variety of weapons each character had like their own stats like some characters were like stronger some of them were re more resistant to fire for example if you played as a robot um you you couldn't get set on fire but you were more susceptible to like electric based weapons um i i played this a ton growing up and, and even today going back and playing this game is, is still a joy um I, I don't know what more i can say about this game other than it is just the epiphany of a great first person shooter it has everything you could ever want and the replay value in this game is just fantastic because of so much to do in it um but you know the customization making your own maps you know back in the day people had some great uh, maps they made and um 
you know, I used to experiment a little bit with the map making as a kid, never really got too into it. Um, but as an adult, you know, you can go back and really put some creativity in your maps. And, you know, this is Free Radical and EA Games at their finest. Um, there is talk about a new Time Splitters game coming out or or something with new Time Splitters that is very, very... um behind closed doors at the moment we haven't really been told too much there is time splitters rewind which is a uh, a fan made time splitters game which is meant to be like a combination of all of the games an online game and it's meant to be really cool and i'm hoping that you know there's still the people working on it are ex free radical um employees so they know what they're doing um i'm just hoping that that doesn't get shut down and we do get some sort of alpha or beta at some point on pc and not that i could play it but to see it would be great and you know they, they do say that they would like to get it on on consoles at some point it's a very uh in-depth project uh, look it up online it's a very well done project and um they recently did a, a video showing off more of the uh in-game content and it's looking really good um but there are um there people do have there is a company that has the rights to this now and uh, they want to do something with it there's still a lot of discussions about what what they're going to do going forward are they going to do a remake are they going to do a remaster collection or they're going to do a new game whatever um but time splitters uh, would be amazing to get a, a hd collection of all three games you know with achievements and lock more um characters you know better graphics not that the graphics are bad in these games they're fantastic for their time but time blood is future perfect i could talk about this game for, for hours um yeah <laughs> let me have vex a game i know nothing about <laughs> from one game that i know everything about to uh, nothing about it's like a action platformer there the x factor sing karaoke game Maybe with some elements of campaign in there. The Bard's Tale. Um, this is a uh, like a full blown RPG. Not not like the original Bard's Tale games were like turn based taught, um, text RPGs. There is new. They did remaster the original Bard Tales games on consoles, um, but not this one. This game right here is really good. Um, good to, uh, top down sort of RPG, Borders Gate style kind of thing. Zephora, another long lost forgotten movie. Um, uh, Zephora was basically like a, a futuristic version of Jumanji, for those of you who don't know about it. Let me have Urban Chaos. I remember playing this game as a kid and thinking it was awesome. It's a very brutal um, uh, cops first person shooter um all about riot control and stuff but it's a really good game check it out devil kings i have played a little bit of this i might have already shown this so if i have shown it i apologize it's basically capcom's answer to dynasty warriors or something need for speed underground 2 again i think i'm showing ones that i've already shown here oni yeah i've definitely shown these ones need for speed pro street uh, again i Sort of gave up with the Need for Speed after a while. Zoo Puzzle, yeah, I think I've definitely shown these ones, so I apologize. Yeah, Good Hero 5 and uh, Great Escape. I've shown those ones, I, I apologize. I did try to get some of them out of the way. How long till the last act? Clever Kids Pony World. Uh, Clever Kids uh, <laughs> educational series on the PlayStation 2. Uh, again, much not much uh, value in these games, but uh, as a collector, I've got to have them all. Air Ranger Rescue Helicopter. Uh, helicopter Rescue themed game. Dynasty Tactics 2. Um, really glad to finally get this game. I picked this one up. This is I showed these off in a recent pickup, so if you're seeing these again, very happy to get Dynasty Tactics 2. Radio Helicopter. Dance Fest, another dancing game. Dragon Ball Z Budokai 
Tenkaichi. Very awesome fighting game. Uh, the Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi series, in my opinion, is the best Dragon Ball Z games. In, in um, Were the best fighting Dragon Ball Z games. Put a lot of hours into these. The third one was the best because you could export all your characters from the other two games and stuff. Great uh, fighting game. And this really took the... Um, really took it to the, uh, um, the, the, the maximum, I guess. <laughs> Let me have the original Yakuza. I haven't never played the original Yakuza. I have to try out the original. I have played Kiwami and Zero. And I'm still working on Kiwami 2. Um, which I will hopefully go back to tonight and continue. Um, but it all started on the PS2. Um, I hear the PS2 version is uh, different, obviously, to Kiwami. But it would be nice to try out the original. SpongeBob SquarePants. Move in with friends. Uh, another... I toy Nickelodeon game. MX vs ATV Unleashed. Urban Rain. Kind of a pretty cool beat em up game. Um, Namco game, of course, made Tekken. So you've got some Tekken characters in here. Uh, it's an okay game. Definitely check it out if you like beat em ups. World Destruction League Thunder Tanks. A, uh, another. Uh, Viracle Combat Game. Taurus Trophy. The Real Riding Simulator. Bike Simulation Game. The Warriors. Uh, Rockstar made a, a, a movie themed game. And of course Rockstar did a fantastic job with this game. This game is often considered to be one of the best um, movie based games out there. It, I played a little bit of it. And what I did play I really enjoyed um, we'll go back and play this one, but this game is considered to be uh, one of the best um, movie games and it's one of the most asked for remasters. World Snooker Championships 2005. Rainbow Six Three. Well, it all began on the uh, original PS One. The Suffering, the ties that bind. Really cool. Uh, um horror game is the suffering definitely check them out there really interesting horror games for the playstation 2 have another copy of transformers uh, one of them works one of them don't i can't remember which one and the last one for today is total club manager 2004 uh, ea put their hat in the bag and tried to make a, a club manager and i believe this is like the only one that's in this series i don't know if they ever made any more but there we go um, so that's today's uh, video. Uh, I've got one more to do. Hopefully I can get it done. Uh, maybe tomorrow. I'm going to be going out tomorrow. Um, got to pick some birthday presents up for my partner. Um, I, I, I do want to mention before I go. Um, I, I, I'm very interested in picking up the game called Dreams on PS4. Um, and it's a creative game kind of like little big planet or something or community creative game uh, where you can make your own games inside of it and um look online check it out it looks really interesting people have made some crazy stuff in it people have made full-fledged games in it. it it's like the epiphany of the ultimate game building game um you know people have made rpgs in it people have made things like pokemon in there you know pokemon games in there final fantasy metal gear solid the simpsons hit and run mario sonic you know you can make first person shooters third person shooters action adventure games horror games um you know racing games shooter games 2d platformers 8-bit platformers it's amazing and it's like only a 35 pound game um if i do get the game tomorrow i probably might try it out and tell you what i think um but from what i've seen it looks fucking amazing and it looks like the ultimate creative game and if i do get that game i'm gonna try it out and then i'm gonna do a video on not only that game but also community based games and why i think that's really important for gaming industry but anyway guys if you enjoyed today's video feel free to leave a like and of course comment below let me know what you've been up to recently let me know if you think i should get dreams and uh and stuff like that and of course uh subscribe if you haven't already and join the family 
Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at the Mad Kaiga. Check me out on Mixer at the Mad Kaiga. Also, um, I don't know if there's going to be a stream tonight. I'm, I'm tempted to play some more um, Yakuza 2. Um, I'll see. Um, or I might want to go on Red Dead with my mate. I don't know yet. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, anyway, guys, if you enjoy, and of course, always uh, have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye.